Hi, my name is Willan Ziada, and I'm a New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film, and I'm also Brad Phoenix Global Artist Ambassador. Today, I am so excited to be speaking with the acclaimed pop singer, songwriter, producer, Drew Lewis. For more on Drew, you can read more about him right below this video. But in the meantime, here is a sneak peek at the incredible talent of Drew Lewis. Getting your attention, the high road just to find the ending. Oh, 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 I be aiming. No, no, sick and tired of pretending. Hate your games, got a calling and a vengeance. Oh, 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 you already know. No, it's the are you up at 2 a.m.? It's the way you flirt with my best friend. It's up for me. It's a so now I'll be ready. Oh, I hope you know I won't let this go. I'm ready. The way you bring me down, down. Well, hello, Drew. How are you? Hi there. I am so good. Thank you so much for having me. Well, thank you for being here. And I'm so excited that the audience just got a little sneak peek at your song, Petty. Drew, it's a freaking bop. <laughs> thank you. My God. No, I mean, I can't get it out of my head and I'm not crying about it. <laughs> well, good, good. Now, but you also have a little special announcement, right? Are you releasing something on Friday? I do, yeah. You, you, this is the first, actually, first time I'm talking about it. You guys get the exclusive. Um, Petty Remix featuring um, the lovely Reggie is um, coming out Friday. So Thursday at midnight Eastern. That is amazing, Drew. You are so incredible. And I can't wait for people to just read more about you right below this bio and just to watch Everything that you do on YouTube these past few days has been really cool. You have such an unapologetic, authentic voice. And I want to know, well, first and foremost, where you grew up and when you realized that, you know, you that music was going to be a part of your life. Yeah, I mean, I'm from Cleveland, Ohio, um, the home of rock and roll. <laughs> and um, my entire family is incredibly musical like all of my siblings are in music and the one that isn't is a dancer so if I were to be like a doctor or lawyer it would probably be like weird right <laughs> so I was I think I was like five years old and my mom always tells the story of how um Ain't No Other Man by Christina Aguilera was blaring and I belting every single word and that's when she was like oh that's that's what he's gonna do, like that's it. I mean, but Drew, that's basically what you did. I mean, I love that analogy because, you know, as artists, right, whether we like it or not, the artists that have, um, that encapsulated our childhood somehow make it through our bloodstream into our work. And, you know, you say Christina Aguilera, are there other influences, you know, like growing up that you were just enamored with and still are today? Yeah, I mean, I grew up in like the, the era of like, club like 2010s lady gaga britney spears when they were all ruling the radio and just like pop was really really fun and i think when i like 2013 to 2017 pop was really more like chill we kind of like laid back and i remember being very frustrated and i was like i want to dance to the radio like i want that to be a thing so i knew that when when it was my time to kind of like step out onto the scene like i wanted to make music that you could dance to I love it. And you know, not only in your music, Drew, that I love so much, as a director, I can appreciate the visual aesthetic you bring to everything that you do. You know, you really are an artist with a capital A. You really, you know, I, I, want, I want you to go into a little bit of the process. Like for example, with Petty, right? The music video I saw um, and that we just all saw, um, or just a little bit of, you know, what was the process like in terms of the full vision from Drew to page to screen. So I initially produced out the beat for Petty and I didn't know what I wanted on it, but I knew like that the beat was infectious and I really loved it. And so I brought it to my co-writer, JL Gerber. We came up with some ideas and then I brought it to um, Carly Chapel and Francis Carell and we finished out the writing of the song. And then um, when it came to the, the video, like I knew I wanted the dichotomy of the lyric of Petty is angry, it's sassy, it's, you know, all of these things where you're you're pent up, you're pushed to the edge, but intertwined with this danceable thing that it makes you feel good. So I wanted to capture that dichotomy and you see that in the video where there's images 
that are really angry, they're dark. And then you have the contrast with the bright and colorful moments. Um, but I feel like they work together and that's just a perfect visual, um, what's the word I want to say? It's the perfect visual- Aesthetic? Yeah, I'm gonna say that, ready? <laughs> it's the perfect visual like aesthetic for what the song brings to the table. I mean, I think you nailed it. And I saw the dichotomy and felt the dichotomy as well. And you know, of the of 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 your songs, Drew, that you have written, is there one besides Petty that you would also call out as, you know, a favorite of yours? Well, songs that are coming soon, um, <laughs> but um, definitely Blocked, which is the first song that I put out um, this past December, uh, really resonate with, and it's just, it comes from personal stories. And I think I've written and produced for a lot of other people for, for a minute now, and that's cool. And I get to, you know, portray their stories through their music. But when it came time to, put out my artistry, I wanted to make sure that these were things that I've experienced and that I can properly relate to, to relay to everyone else who can relate. Drew, that's amazing. And, you know, I think about Phoenix and this amazing, groundbreaking app that's going to be able to not only connect artists with more fans, but also artists from around the world. And I'm sure you've been places around the world, but I'm curious to know with the idea of collaborating with people outside of the United States, what, you know, how that makes you feel. Yeah, so I've actually written a lot for um, Korean pop music and um, music over in Japan. So the idea of Phoenix bringing together, you know, people from LA all the way, you know, international, like, um, what's the word? Um, Fusion? Fusion? Um, no, Will. I, I was, I'm gonna start, we're ready. The idea that Phoenix can break those barriers, you know, and we've seen that throughout the pandemic with, you know, Zoom becoming more of a tool like this interview right here, but like having like a real platform to do that that is catered to musicians is just like a game changer. I think so too. And, um, you know, having befriended the CEOs and many of the people involved with it, you know, they, they, they're the real deal. And it's, it's, it, it, it's sad to say that it's groundbreaking for anything or anyone to be putting artists first, but the people at Phoenix do it and have done it and are gonna to continue to do it. That's why I'm involved. And that's why I'm so excited that excellent artists like yourself are involved And the fact, Drew, that you already have that firsthand experience of the power of, and the, of not only the transcendent universal language of music, but the power of international collaboration. You get it firsthand. Definitely. Well, listen, my friend, I'm excited uh, uh, that we got to meet today and I can't wait for the next time we get to talk. And I thank you so much for speaking with me today. Thank you so much for having me. In the digital age, artists and bands struggle to make a living. In fact, only a small number of artists can live off their craft. For the 98% of artists that don't have the luxury of being signed to a label, it's tough. But artists deserve to live off their art. Wherever you are around the world, appreciation of music does not change. Phoenix brings bands and their fans together, whilst allowing bands to properly monetize their passion. The Phoenix app will directly connect bands and fans with no need for middlemen. We're utilizing the blockchain to give the power back to the artists once and for all. Join Phoenix, join the change.